Hey everybody, welcome to Afterlife Topics and Metaphysics. This is Cyrus. We talk about complex, supernatural types of subjects. And today I'm in Belgrade, Serbia. Uh, I've been following the channel. I came from the south in Macedonia. Now I'm in Serbia. And I've been here most of this week. And behind me is the Nikola Tesla Museum. And I believe this whole neighborhood was Nikola Tesla's neighborhood back in the day. And of course they made a, they made a museum dedicated to him. Uh, I think it opens in like 10 minutes. So I thought I'd do a quick video uh, before it opens. Now, I also think it's kind of appropriate that I'm at Tesla's museum because people have been following this channel or following some of the crazy kind of paranormal topics that, that uh, we've been investigating. Uh, you might know that Nikola Tesla is allegedly still very active from beyond the grave, uh, working potentially, theoretically, allegedly, I always use those qualifiers in this field, with Sonia Rinaldi and her ITC EVP experiments. And uh, Tesla's voice has come through crystal clear through different uh, means, through different electronic means, in particular what we call EVP. And there's very interesting recordings about that if you check out Sonia Rinaldi's work. Um, I'll try to put a link in the description down below. So uh, after the video is made, I'll I'll try to find a uh, link to some of Rinaldi's work. Uh, she also has these little Amazon booklets you can buy that are filled with recordings of of her audio. So very interesting. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about in this video. Let's take a walk around the neighborhood a little bit. What we're talking about in this video today is the subject of reincarnation and. Uh, how to avoid a reincarnation and this is just kind of based upon some of my theories some of my ideas it's not it's not dogma it's just some i think pretty good guesstimates of what's going on based upon most of my life studying these topics now reincarnation is a controversial subject and i know many people here say i would never want to be reincarnated and uh, but you might not be taking into full consideration all the variables things that uh, prompt us to reincarnate or even you know how how it all works some people say that it, reincarnation happens where only a piece of us comes back and we we are still living a life on that side and so from the perspective of somebody on that side it's maybe less of a a uh, little bit i don't know l l less of a big deal i guess because you know i mean you can go and have a new experience create a new form a new life why not but for many of us living here, the last thing we want to do is think about coming back to this mess with you know, an extremely ignorant population, disease, uh, bodies that decay, uh, horrible governments, you, know, you name it. So how do we not come back? So first of all, I think that there's three main reasons why people reincarnate. The first is to, quote, clear karmic debt. So it's the feeling that you've done something in your life here before that was terrible and you have this especially I think when you cross over to other dimensions you just you're always feeling the effects of things that have happened that, that, that you've done so you know in the famous like life review you can feel the effects of your actions on other people and I think that this this can create enormous guilt and one of the only ways to cure that guilt may be to experience a um, re-experience a life here and try to uh, make amends for what you've done. The other two reasons is pressure from an external force that tells you that you have to reincarnate and then the third reason is reincarnating truly by choice and I've uh, talked about this before as well being you know a I suppose a, a reason that makes sense so a few videos back I did a video about reincarnation basically saying that the only time that reincarnation makes any sense is if you legitimately want to come here and help and assist people from a you know from a position of charity so <clears throat> in regard to these both of these reasons why people reincarnate first let's tackle the pressure from an external force so once you cross over no matter no matter what anybody tries to tell you no matter you know no matter what kind of pressure you may get from a religious institution a so-called higher entity Anything that is telling you that you need to reincarnate, that you messed up, that you didn't do something right, and now you have to follow their directive, follow their orders, 
and come back into a life here, uh, you have to see it for what it is, which is manipulation. Now, it doesn't always mean that the entities telling people to reincarnate are negative, or at least they don't think that they're negative. It could very well be a kind of religious institution. You have yogis and Buddhists and Hindus and, you know, uh, leaders in these areas who have passed on you know, for hundreds of years, and they now have elevated themselves to believe that they are, you know, leaders of the human race, and they feel they have the authority to tell people that, hey, you have to go back into a body because we said so. And then there, there may even be more nefarious entities that are literally tricking us to reincarnate. I don't know, some people make that claim. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to um, support it one way or the other. But um, regardless, you have to remember that you have free will in making that decision. So don't, as soon as any, any entity, even if an entity is making you feel really pleasant, love and light and all that, if it's telling you to do something that interrupts your free will, it, you can't do anything unless you consent to it. So don't consent. Look at your options first <clears throat> before following something's uh, order to, to have to come back to a new life here. You know, coming, reincarnating, especially if it's your whole soul coming back, it's a big deal. It means that, it means that you're basically wiping, you know, your current form and your history and doing it again. Is that necessarily a good idea? So the, thir uh, the, the other reason is a little bit more complicated. And it has to do with a re kind of a motivation that people have to reincarnate. And what's really interesting about this is um, there, there's a lot of implication that, the other, that there's elements of the other side that are, uh, you could say, flawed, that are potentially things that limit limitations that, that we have there that we may not actually have here. And it's not quite what you might expect. You see, in these so-called kind of astral environments, other worlds, summer lands, places where, you know, it's almost, it, it can be very close to what we call paradise, where we, we, can, we can kind of shape our reality. And even if it's on the so-called astral earth, a neighborhood like this one, the people can use their consciousness to shape it the way they want. So, it, so groups, communities form, they, they create what they want. But there's a downside and this is a big philosophical concept to digest, but there is a downside. I guess we'll see what's down this street. <laughs> there is a downside to always getting what you want because progression in life is about, sometimes it's about struggle. Sometimes it's about being faced with challenges. Sometimes it's about not being in the best situation. Sometimes it's about facing off with evil or dark things and then growing as a person because of that. There's actually this great um, reformed prison, um, prison leader. I was watching some of this guy's YouTube videos and he said he learned that in life, you have to have the devil in, in life as long as the devil's on the ground and your boot is on its neck. Which means well, we need that darkness sometimes, we need that challenge, we need that difficulty to grow as individuals. On the other side, I think that we frankly become bored sometimes. We, become, we start to stagnate and we begin to desire a challenge, a conflict, something to push us to make us grow. I believe we can find these things on the other side, but to do that, we have to be open-minded enough to go places in the multiverse, in other worlds that do challenge us, that are difficult, that are not entirely just you know sunshine, rainbows, unicorns, literally speaking. Uh, so that we can put ourselves in situations that are difficult to do it consciously, to do it on purpose to grow, so that we don't have to come back to a life here where it can be so extreme and so mentally dangerous to us. So design a life for yourself that is always challenging you. By the way, please subscribe down below if you've liked this video so far. Go down and hit the notification bell. All that helps keep this channel going. Uh, it's probably, probably all I can share in this video because my camera is almost out of space, but uh, thanks for watching. And um, remember, just in, in, in summary, don't believe any entity that's telling you to have to reincarnate. And when you do cross over, when we get to this other side, don't forget about the importance of challenge and being faced, you know, faced by challenges and how adversity is the thing that makes us grow. And that we should seek it out. We should challenge ourselves no matter what plane of existence we're on. 
Okay, if you want to get involved, head to afterlifetopics.com. A donation really helps, so you can go to the Patreon in the description down below. Patreon.com slash afterlifetopics helps keep this whole thing going. Talk next time.